It's great to be with you on the Home Church eCourse today. Uh, my topic is the mission of Jesus. And I, I want to look at what the mission of Jesus was, how Jesus fulfilled his mission, and how we can fulfill as disciples of Jesus the mission of Jesus now he has ascended and sent the Holy Spirit. So I'm just going to pray and dive straight in. Father, I pray that we would see what the mission of Jesus is. I pray that we would see how you do it and I pray that we would hear how we can get involved and we would put into practice the mission of Jesus in our daily lives. So what was the mission of Jesus or what is the mission of Jesus? I want to read to you from Luke chapter 4, verses 16 to 21, which has been described by many people as the mission statement of Jesus. It says this, Luke chapter 4, 16 to 21, Jesus went to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and on the Sabbath day he went into the synagogue, as was his custom, he stood up to read. And the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him. Unrolling it, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. Then he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant and sat down. The eyes of everyone on the synagogue were fastened on him. He began by saying to them, today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. This was Jesus' mission statement. He was saying, this is how I am going to fulfill my mission here on earth. I'm going to do it by proclaiming good news to the poor. I'm going to do it by proclaiming freedom for the prisoners. I'm going to do it by proclaiming recovery of sight for the blind, by setting the oppressed free and declaring the year of the Lord's favour. And as we read through the Gospels, we see Jesus fulfilling this very mission. But how did he do it? Well, he did it three ways. Through his words, through his works, and through his wonders. Through his words, he opens eyes to a new way of living. Through his words, he opens eyes to see the kingdom of God. Through his words, he opens eyes to a life of love and compassion. Through his words, he opens eyes and reveals who the Father is. Through his words, he fulfilled scripture. Through his words, he forgave sin. And through his words, he taught us to pray. He, he taught us in parables. I just love the fact that Jesus taught his words, most of the time, were in stories. And those stories were loving. For instance, Luke 15, about a loving father and a prodigal son who just, the father loved the, the, the son back to life. And then his, his words were challenging, especially the parables he shared about the Pharisees. He lovingly corrected his disciples when he stepped out of line. His words were, were challenging, yet they were also gracious. An example of that is John chapter 8, when the woman was bought, caught in adultery and she was put before Jesus and they said, what should happen? She should be stoned by the law of Moses. And Jesus said, he who is without sin cast the first stone. And then he said to the woman, does anyone condemn you? And she's like, no, sir. He said, neither do I condemn you. Go leave your life of sin. His words were hard and they were challenging to the Pharisees, yet they were loving and compassionate to the woman caught in adultery. His words brought freedom and life and compassion. He fulfilled his mission through his words and then secondly through his works. And we could do e-course after e-course after e-course about the works of Jesus. I want to focus in on one thing and that was his work of raising up others. He made disciples. He made disciples so his mission would not only continue, but also spread. Jesus invested a large chunk of his time investing into 12 people who would then take the message to the ends of the earth. And he left them with this command. It's in Matthew chapter 28. All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Go therefore, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. 
and I will be with you always to the ends of the earth. One of Jesus' major works was to raise up others to continue his mission. So through his words, through his works, and finally through wonders. I, I read the Bible and I see that the wonders of Jesus are in every single page of the Gospels. We read that Jesus fed 5,000 people. Well, actually, it could be between 15 to 20,000 people because the Bible says 5,000 men. If each man had one wife and one child, that could be 15,000 people. And he fed them with five loaves and two fish. Incredible. We read in the Gospels of healing of the sick, that the blind saw, the deaf heard, the lame walked, the mute spoke, the dead were raised. We see, read in the Gospels of, of Jesus casting out demons. We read that he was led by the Spirit, for instance, uh, and, and the, he had words of knowledge. For instance, John chapter 4. The woman at the well, Jesus had a word of knowledge for her. There was also an occasion when the disciples came to him and said, Teacher, where should we eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the city, you'll find a man carrying a jar of water. Follow him, he will lead you to another man who then ask him, Where shall we eat the Passover? He will take you to an upper room that's furnished, and that's where I'll eat on Passover. Like Jesus was led by the Spirit. There are wonders on every page of the Gospels. But one of the most amazing wonders for me is the wonder of a changed life. The story of Zacchaeus, who was a, a very selfish, arrogant, greedy man. He was a tax collector. He was despised by his own people because he was a tax collector. Changed his life when he met Jesus. We read in Luke chapter 19, verses 8 to 10, but Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. And wherever Jesus went, transformed lives followed. So Jesus fulfilled his mission through his words, through his works and wonders. And it's not words at the expense of works. And it's not works at the expense of wonders. And it's certainly not wonders at the expense of words. It's all three together, words, works and wonders coming together to fulfill his mission. And now he's ascended He's gone to heaven, he sent his Holy Spirit to his disciples and it's time for those who follow Jesus to fulfill his mission. It's time for those who follow Jesus to get involved in the mission of Jesus. And I would probably say that you're watching this and you are a follower of Jesus. In which case he's calling you to get involved in the mission of Jesus. He's calling you to carry out his mission. Because when Jesus ascended, his mission became our mission. So how do we get involved in Jesus's mission? Well, do what Jesus did. When you gather as a home church, do what Jesus did. Read the Gospels together, just read them, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, read them and just see how he interacted with his disciples, how he raised up others, how he released others and how he went out to heal and, and free the sick, how he went out to, to fulfil that passage in Luke chapter 4. The Bible tells us in Luke chapter 4, we read it earlier on, the first thing Jesus said was the Spirit of the Lord is on me. The Holy Spirit is on you to do the same thing that Jesus did. And so go and serve your area. Go and fulfill the mission of Jesus by serving your area where God has planted you as a home church through your words. Through your words, speak kindness, kindness and love and compassion. Through your words, share Jesus. Whether that's saying hello to someone who's lonely or whether that's sharing your testimony with someone or, or whether that's even, uh, I, I don't know, sharing Jesus and leading them to Jesus through your words, fulfill the mission of Jesus. Fulfill the mission of Jesus by serving your area as a home church through works. Serve your street, serve your community uh, because by serving those around us, we serve the king. 
serve your community, whether that's a litter pick or giving cookies to a, a neighbour or, 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 or going out and, and, and sharing Jesus with people or putting on community events through your works, serve and serve by making disciples to spread and continue the mission of Jesus. Fulfill the mission of Jesus by serving your area through wonders. Go and pray for people. Go and do what Jesus did. Pray for people. See the, the deaf hear, the lame walk, the blind see, uh, disease lift up. It's incredible. When we step out and pray for people, God does incredible things. A few weeks ago, I was going on a walk and when I left my home, I felt the Holy Spirit point me to a certain direction. And uh, as I was walking down this path, I saw this man and I felt the Holy Spirit say, speak to him. So I was like, okay. I was slightly nervous, but I, I spoke to him and I just said, you might think I'm crazy, but I just want to let you know that Jesus loves you so much. And all of a sudden he stopped and over this conversation, I had some words for him. I prayed for him. He got healed. And, and he told me that a few weeks ago, someone led him to Jesus. And I was just like, I lived around the corner for, from him. And it's just like, wow, isn't it amazing how God connects it? it? It was a wonder in itself. Then I turned the corner and I prayed for this guy with a bad knee and he got healed. Jesus still wants to do wonders today and he wants to do them through you. So serve your, get involved in the mission of Jesus by serving your community through your words, through your works and through your wonders. He's calling you to join in, to get involved in the bigger story. The story that began at the beginning of time and was writ, is being written for all of eternity. There is no second option. There is no second choice. Jesus chose you to get involved in his mission, to be the light to the world. Your area, wherever you are in the, in the United Kingdom or overseas, needs you to get involved in the mission of Jesus. Your country needs you to get involved in the mission of Jesus. The nations of the world need you to get involved in the mission of Jesus. So get involved in the mission of Jesus. Serve your area through your words, through your works, and through your wonders. <laughs>